sound from the pavement has the moon lost her memory she is smiling alone it's an ache a helplessness an anger one feels humiliated by it sometimes i say to myself steady on there you're imagining all this stuff. Then I catch that look again. Feel that edge in a remark. Catch the cold reluctance when I jump into a lap. It really doesn't seem to matter how hard I try or how high I leap. I don't feel I'll ever be what they really want me to be. I'll never measure up, never equal. I'll just never be. A dog. I never really knew my father. After mom had us, dad just kind of disappeared. We had a lot of attention though from the kids next door. Until that dog moved in. It was a dog that came between my mother and my father. The pain was so intense. But the people, the people just <laughs> laughed. They seemed to find pain, inner pain. At first, I thought it was just a communication problem, so I started barking lessons. I'd practice four, sometimes five hours a day. When the barking didn't seem to get their attention, I threw in some begging and tail wagging. People love to see dogs wag their tails, you know. In the end, it didn't make any difference. They just laughed. Even the dogs laughed. <laughs> That's when I said, enough is enough. They didn't care. Why should I care? For the first time, it occurred to me there might be something more in life than dogs and people. That was the day I turned my back on them. That was the day that set me free. It's real freedom too, you know? No one can take that from me. Never. I'll always be a cat.